Well, with less than 24 hours now until the polls open, both campaigns are making their final pitch to voters. Former President Donald Trump is set to begin here in just a few minutes uh, in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. We're standing by for that rally to begin. This is a state he's visited several times in the last few weeks. The real clear politics average of polls has him with a 1.5% lead. Real clear politics, they average up all of the polls to come up with their numbers. So Trump up 1.5% in North Carolina. Following his rally there, he's going to head to Pennsylvania for a pair of stops. The RCP average there says it is extremely close. He has a lead of 0.3% in Pennsylvania. This is the swing state with the most electoral votes votes up for grabs, 19. He's going to be in Reading and in Pittsburgh. He then will end the day in Grand Rapids, Michigan, a nod to tradition since he's wrapped up his previous campaigns there as well. Now, how about Kamala Harris? Her campaign is making Pennsylvania a top priority. The VP has three different stops there throughout the day today, starting in Allentown, then midday in Pittsburgh, and then tonight, her final pitch to the voters in Philadelphia, right by the famous uh, steps of the Philadelphia Art Museum. Our good systems and the vote of the people will determine the outcome of this election and everyone must know that their vote is their power to determine the outcome of the election and their vote will count. It does matter. By the way, the VP candidates may be working harder than the presidential candidates. J.D. Vance is going to be in four different states today, Wisconsin, Michigan, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. Minnesota's Governor Tim Walz will be in Wisconsin and Michigan. Now, we mentioned the polls in Pennsylvania and North Carolina. RCP has Trump up by about 2% in Arizona and Georgia. Their average of polls, though, now shows Kamala Harris taking a lead in Michigan over a point and in Wisconsin by about a half a point. So nearly every poll has a margin of error, you guys, of around 3%. So the bottom line is every single one of these states we've just mentioned, they're all within the margin of error.